Tiger Woods picked up his first putter at seven months old. At two, he was on TV hitting golf balls with Bob Hope. At four, he was practicing eight hours a day, winning bets against adults. Early specialization worked for Tiger because golf is a predictable sport. The skills he learned at two will apply to golf for the rest of his life. It's a stable game, very little changes. But few things in life are like golf. We live in a complex and unpredictable world. The people who succeed the most know how to navigate constant change. They draw on a generalist background, which equips them to mix different approaches together to face new and unexpected challenges. In his book, Range, David Epstein argues that many of the most effective people in elite professional fields, such as sports and art and scientific research, succeed not despite the fact but because they find their way to this particular field after pursuing other endeavors first. In other words, generalism and specialism are friends, not enemies. But the order really matters. Generalize, then specialize, not the other way around. Why? When kids specialize early, it's easy for them to fall into functional fixedness. They may miss creative solutions because they only ever mastered one set of skills. As Abraham Kaplan wrote, Give a small boy a hammer, and he will find that everything he encounters needs pounding. On the other hand, early generalism gives kids a firm foundation of broad knowledge. They have a big box of thinking tools, which helps them innovate in their specialty later in life. When you generalize early and specialize late, it helps you develop specific knowledge, an idea that I covered in my previous video. You're building a knowledge stack. You're honing in on what you and only you can offer the world. So, before you sign up your eight-year-old for daily golf lessons, try these tactics to help them develop range. First, encourage a sampling period, where kids can try different sports, arts, instruments, and other activities without any pressure to commit. Number two, facilitate self-reflection after kids try new things, so they grow to better understand themselves and their innate talents and passions. Number three, let kids engage in unstructured play where they have the freedom to find new interests. Number four, expose them to a diverse learning diet with a variety of subjects and different types of thinking. Range is not about forcing kids to get A's in every subject or enrolling them in five different after-school programs. Instead, it's about letting them explore and play and try many different things. It's about cheering them on when they venture outside their comfort zone. Above all, it's about celebrating with them as they discover what they love to do the most. If you want to help kids find their unique knowledge stack, check out my previous video on specific knowledge.